Oh yeah, just a day off. I figure you give him a day off today, he gets he gets two days. Um, like I said, these days off could only be a half a day, but just kind of get him relax a little bit. I think you did that with him last time. You guys had a Monday off day. Are you trying to prepare them to get back to back? Yeah, I'm trying to get back to back days um, for some of these guys, so they get they get actually two days off. Um, so and look, he's been playing he's been playing really well. So um, you know, I, I've been wanting I've been scheduled this day off for him for for a bit again. Just get him off his feet. When you look at a young shortstop, like ostensibly a rookie shortstop, I know technically he is, but kind of practically yeah. speaking, yeah. Least, um, there's always going to be a lot of tension on the defensive side of it and how they handle things, and maybe each pair gets magnified. When you think back to other rookies who you've had in that kind of situation, how does he compare, um, not just the mistakes he makes, but how he responds to those and the improvements that he makes? Hey, he's, he's actually done... done um, He's bounced back really well from some of the mistakes he's made. We talked a lot about in LA. You know, he made a, made a couple of couple of errors over there. Um, but we talked about him about different fields and how to play in different fields. You know, in, in LA, that field was really really fast. Um, sometimes, you know, when it feels that fast, you don't have to come and charge everything like like he was trying to do because of here. Um, so, you know, we we talked a lot about that and how. Um, it's just a learning process with them, you know, about going to different fields, going different, you know, uh, playing different games, footwork, um, how to th position ourselves to throw the balls like the other day where he threw the ball away. Um, it's just about footwork, about how, knowing who's running, how much time you have to throw, um, stuff of that nature. But he's handled everything really well. He loves, he loves the information. He loves when you know, Gary or Ricky or, or Bogey goes up to him and talks to him about um, different scenarios and, um, and he corrects him. Yeah, you know, he does does a really good job of correcting him. So um, he's been he's been really good. Does it take a certain type of guy to play that position at that age? That like there's obviously going to be some natural ability you have to have. But you also have to understand there's going to be a spotlight on you that you maybe wouldn't get in other positions. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're, you're playing one well, probably one of the toughest positions. Look, all I always say, all three of the middle of the infield positions are tough. You know, catching, shortstop, second base, and also. Uh, Center field. I mean, center field. You, 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 center field controls the outfield, right? So, I mean, we we always thought that center field was a tough, tough spot to play because you had a lot of ground to cover. Um, but he's he's definitely in the p pivotal position uh, for our ball club. Um, and being so young, I thought I think he's handled it well. Um, he's communicating really well with everybody else. You know, one big thing I know that having Jamer over there at third base with him helps him a lot. You know, uh, and having Dom at first base really helps him a lot too. So um, it's been a great combination uh, uh, with our infielders um, playing together, getting to understand each other, and really communicating with one another. How has having Bill Tomorrow behind him also benefited him in terms of maybe helping with the defense? Or, you know, obviously he's a very energetic person in the clubhouse too. I guess how has Tomorrow helped him? He's, he's kept him loose a lot. I mean, you know, he, and he, he makes him forget about mistakes and gets him, gets him to that next, you know, that next play, that next, you know, so it's it's good to have a guy that understands the game and uh, has played it really well, you know, and has played his position really well. So um, he's been really good for him. But the biggest thing is that he tr he tries to keep uh, CJ loose, uh, not worry about the mistakes, you know, focus on the positives and, and move on. He's also like he's also hitting 300. So in his limited opportunities this year, he's hit pretty well. Because what do you see from Bill Demar when he comes into the game and how important it is to kind of have a guy back there that you can trust to come in. Yeah, you know, it's all about preparation with him. I mean, he, his routine, you know, he's every day. He's the first guy in the cage. Um, he get, works on both both sides of his swing. Um, he's the first one to get ready to take infield. Um, he's been great. But, you know, he's he knows his, his uh, playing time is kind of limited, but he's always ready. You know, no matter what, he's ready to play uh, any position. Whenever I need him, um, he's, he's good to go. You mentioned Dom and his, the, how much he's helped. I know you've been trying to find like a day off for him. Is it hard because he's been so much better against lefties? It, 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 yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and it's tough because um, he means so, he means uh, he means a lot to us defensively over there. And you try to pick pick a day for him, but you know you look, you look at our our starting pitchers and our pitch, you know we we get a lot of ground balls. It's hard to take them out. You know uh, we try because we're trying to play defense and, and limit limit um, any mistakes out on the field. Um, and he's been he's been. Outstanding, yeah, first base.